That was Cormac at the precinct. Alexander Baron was a guest at Parkview Regency the night Rachel was killed. He checked out earlier today, and he's on his way to MacArthur Airport. He's got a private jet and an appointment in London. Well, he's going to be late. MacArthur Airport. Mr. Baron, Mr. Baron, Detective Curtis, NYPD. We need to talk to you about the murder of a hotel maid over the weekend. A maid? Are you serious? I'm leaving for London. Look like about an inch and a half to you, Ray? Sure does. Mr. Alexander Baron, you are under arrest for the murder of Rachel Trevino. Uh, you have the uh... right to remain silent. Interrogation room. I don't know why we're wasting time here. I'm a Russian. I have diplomatic immunity. We did a little research on you, Mr. Braun. Rachel's blog was a very interesting read. Maids? Waitresses? Executives at your own company? Is there any woman you wouldn't hit on? Your mom? Miss Benson, I am a handsome, virile man. I radiate power. Women are attracted to it despite themselves. Here's a clue. When a woman is attracted to you, she does not slap you with a sexual harassment lawsuit. You've had 12. Uh-oh. I'm a flirt. Just a bit carried away, does he? All sorts of things. Uh Well, we've already hit on the right show. Let's go to the voice. You had access to Rachel's voicemails, and you destroyed them to cover up your connection. Not true. I never touched the voicemails. Um, he never touched them, so basically true, but he could have got someone else to do them. True, the slippery eel was technically telling the truth. Who deleted the voicemails? Um... Hmm. Missed that one. Benson, you know Gwen Scott deleted those voicemails. Right. Sorry. Rachel knew all about you. She was gathering evidence about you, about unreported assaults. I wouldn't know anything about that. I never even heard these voicemails you're so very concerned about. Telling the witness to a crime gets you an automatic upgrade to murder one. What crimes? What witness? Rachel had evidence on you, Braun. She knew what you were up to. She wasn't a witness to anything. Those voicemails were about an expose, a plan to blackmail me. Ah. Does this prove his innocence? Well, not really. You're lying, and we can prove it. Wow. Uh, she did write in a blog. His lips are moving. Hmm. Uh, he's likely target for blackmail because of his wealth, of course. Baron couldn't know what was in the voicemails unless he heard them. Yeah. You just told us you never heard those voicemails, so there's no way you could know what they were about. You heard them, and you know it. You're looking better and better for this murder with every lie that comes out of your filthy mouth. <gasps> wow. It have to be personal. Blackmail. You mentioned blackmail. Are you being blackmailed? Why, yes. Why aren't you investigating the criminals behind this whole operation? Who? I'm very certain it's the Russian mob. I won't share my money with them, which they did not earn. So they want me embarrassed and disgraced. I wouldn't cough up a well, rule for Well, that's what all blackmailers do. They want that's money they don't earn. That's enough from you. Let's get back to the murder. Right, let's go with... Let's go back to Rachel. Did you know Rachel Trevino? No. We have DNA evidence that says you did. What kind of evidence? A rape kit. Uh, uh, <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. It was completely consensual. Oh, she didn't... So didn't you do know, know her. her. You cops think you have it all figured out. Guess what? We were lovers. Hmm. 
Is she lying? I say no. Ah! Damn it. When I left the room, that girl I've was got alive. One more to go, and then I have to do it all again. Right. It's certainly suspicious. An alternative theory. Let's go with so that. So let's say, maybe this girl, Rachel, maybe she liked it a little rough. And you obliged. Consenting adults, right? Sure, completely consenting. And the cane could have been involved. Could have been. Ah, I see. Let's go with the cane a bit more. Tell me how the cane fits into this scenario. Was it an accident? I'm sure it must have been. Did she ask you to use what it? What do you mean, must yes, have been? Yes, she asked me you to wasn't do it. There, it was her was idea. You? She liked that kind of thing, I guess. Like I said, it was all yes. consensual. This girl was kinky. She saw my cane. She wanted to try it. She was an adult. So you admit it? No. No. Have you evidence against him? No, we haven't actually. Ah! What is this travesty <laughs> oh, no. of justice? Are you amateurs? Yes. You don't know what you're I talking am an about. amateur. I want my lawyer and I want him now. I'm a keyboard amateur. Interrogation room. Hello. I don't know why we're wasting time here. I'm a Russian. I have she had to go pee -pee immunity. first. We did a little research on you, Mr. Braun. Rachel's blog was a very interesting read. Maids? Waitresses? Executives at your own company? Is there any woman you wouldn't hit on? Your mom? Miss Benson, I am a handsome, virile man. I radiate power. Women are attracted to it. You radiate themselves. power and money. Here's a clue. When a woman is attracted to you, she does not slap you with a sexual harassment lawsuit. You've had 12. I'm a flirt. I get slapped with all sorts of things. Hmm. Let's talk with... Voicemails. You had access to Rachel's voicemails, and you destroyed them to cover up your connection. Not true. I never touched the voicemails. This is a true statement. No! Rachel knew all about you. She was gathering evidence about you, about unreported assaults. I wouldn't know anything about that. I never even heard these voicemails you're so very concerned about. Hmm. Let's go with the unreported assault. You know, killing the witness to a crime gets you an automatic upgrade to murder one. What crimes? What witness? Rachel had evidence on you, Braun. She knew what you were up to. She wasn't a witness to anything. Those voicemails were about an expose, a plan to blackmail me. You said... You said you didn't know the voicemails. You're I lying, hear them. and we can prove it. I said I didn't know what was in the voicemails. You just told us you never heard those voicemails, so there's no way you could know what they were about. You heard them, and you know it. You're looking better and better for this murder with every lie that comes out of your filthy mouth. Right. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with the blackmail plot. You mentioned game. blackmail. Are you being blackmailed? Why, yes. Why aren't you investigating the criminals behind this whole operation? Names? Who? I'm very certain it's the Russian mob. I okay. won't share my money with them, which they did not earn. So they want me embarrassed and disgraced. I wouldn't cough up a ruble for those thugs. That's enough from you. Let's get back to the murder. Okay. Let's go back to Rachel. Did you know Rachel Trevino? No. We have DNA evidence that says you did. What kind of evidence? A rape kit. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. It was completely consensual. So you do know her? You cops think you have it all figured out. Guess what? We were lovers. Um... Yes. Who stated Rachel had no boyfriends? That was the maid. 
I'm not buying it. Sorry, Charlie. An earlier witness already told us Rachel didn't have a boyfriend. And you lied about knowing her just now. But didn't That's the witness two strikes. Know her? A jury might see it different. When I left the room, that girl was alive. <sighs> so he did leave the room. You didn't come forward when you heard about the murder. I had no reason to. A maid is killed. How is this my business? She was your girlfriend. Ah, but you say she is not detective. Oh. Seems like you were trying to avoid this investigation. No, I had every intention of cooperation. In fact, when you found me, I was on my way to see my lawyer. Uh-huh, in your jet. He's on vacation in Florida. Uh, yeah. I don't know, was he going to Florida? Can't remember. No. I don't know where he was going. Um... Should we dig up the old lawsuits? Let's go with the other thing. So let's say, maybe this girl, Rachel, maybe she liked it a little rough. And you obliged. Consenting adults, right? Sure, completely consenting. And the cane could have been involved. Could have been. Right, cane was involved. Tell me how the cane fits into this scenario. Was it an accident? I'm sure it must have been. Sure, Did it she must ask have been. So he wasn't yes, there. She asked me to at do that it. Time. It was her idea. She liked that kind of thing, I guess. Like I said, it was all consensual. This girl was kinky. She saw my cane. She wanted to try it. She was an adult. So you admit it? No. No. Do you have evidence against him? Well, I would have said no, but that's, it said I was wrong, so I'm going to go yes. What evidence? Well, three pieces of evidence best connect him to Rachel's death. The bruise mark on his, her neck could be the cane he was carrying. Why the media in a book? Sudden fight to London. Oh yeah, that's where he was going. Cane he was carrying and the hotel registry. Right. Bruised mark on the neck, the cane he was carrying. And the DNA evidence. Have we got DNA evidence yet? Have we got his DNA yet? Testimony of Tom. The bruised mark on the neck and the cane. I am going to go for the first one with the white in the notebook. Oh no! What is this travesty of justice? Are you amateurs? You don't know what you're talking about. I want <laughs> my lawyer and I want him now. Oh, so do I. And there I guys are room. Come on in. I don't know why we're wasting time here. I'm a Russian. I have diplomatic immunity. We did a little research on you, Mr. Braun. Rachel's blog was a very interesting read. Maids? Waitresses? Executives at your own company? Is there any woman you wouldn't hit on? Your mom? Miss Benson, I am a handsome, virile man. I radiate power. Women are attracted to it despite themselves. Here's a clue. When a woman is attracted to you, she does not slap you with a sexual harassment lawsuit. You've had 12. I'm a flirt. I get slapped with all sorts of things. Yeah, perhaps they're just after his money. Let's go to the voicemail. You had access to Rachel's voicemails, and you destroyed them to cover up your connection. Not true. I never touched the voicemails. Is this true? Yes. True, the slippery L is technically telling the truth. Got somebody else to do it. Who deleted him? Where are we? There. Gwendolyn Scott. She already admitted it. Nice try. Gwen Scott told us she deleted the voicemails on your orders. You're guilty as sin, Baron. If you say so. Rachel knew all about you. She was gathering evidence about you, about unreported assaults. 
I wouldn't know anything about that. I never even heard these voicemails you're so very concerned about. Hmm. Let's go with that unreported. You assault. know, killing the witness to a crime gets you an automatic upgrade to murder one. What crimes? What witness? Rachel had evidence on you, Baron. She knew what you were up to. She wasn't a witness to anything. Those voicemails were about an expose, a plan to blackmail me. Does this prove his innocence? No. You're lying, and we can prove it. How can you prove it? Well, she disliked him in the blog. He's black because of his wealth. He did know what was in the voicemails, but he had heard them. You just told us you never heard those voicemails, so there's no way you could know what they were about. You heard them, and you know it. You're looking better and better for this murder with every lie that comes out of your filthy mouth. Um... Let's go back to the blackmail. You mentioned blackmail. Are you being blackmailed? Why, yes. Why aren't you investigating the criminals behind this whole operation? Who? I'm very certain it's the Russian mob. I won't share my money with them, which they did not earn. So they want me embarrassed and disgraced. I wouldn't cough up a ruble for those thugs. That's enough from you. Let's get back to the murder. Oh, I found a red herring. So, back to Rachel. Did you know Rachel Trevino? No. We have DNA evidence that says you did. What kind of evidence? A rape kit. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. It was completely consensual. So you do know her? You cops think you have it all figured out. Guess what? We were lovers. Uh-oh. Who stated Rachel had no boyfriends? The maid. I'm not buying it. Sorry, Charlie. An earlier witness already told us Rachel didn't have a boyfriend. And you lied about knowing her just now. That's two strikes. A jury might see it different. When I left the room, that girl was alive. Ah, so he was there. Might not be his boyfriend or girlfriend. You but didn't come forward when you heard about the murder. She threatened I had no reason to. A maid is killed. How is this my business? She was your girlfriend. Ah. But you say she is not Yeah, detected. but you say she was. Seems like you were trying to avoid this investigation. No. I had every intention of cooperation. In fact, when you found me, I was on my way to see my lawyer. Uh-huh. And your jet. He's on vacation in Florida. Ah! He was going to London. Uh... said he was going to London. You said you were times, headed to London. But... It's just a hop, skip, and a jump to Moscow from there. And then, you'd be out of our reach. Your knowledge of geography is so American. Yeah, damn. Let's start with the top one. The Women. They love power. They love machismo. But most of them, when they get their hands on a stallion, all they do is complain about the ride. Am I right? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And these bloggers. They're all feminists, right? Always complaining about guys, especially macho guys. Guys like you. Eh, uh, sorry. My lawyers have advised me not to take bait so easily offered by a policeman. <laughs> Worth a shot. Right. That's another red herring, which we knew that would be. Let's go with the old lawsuits. You've had 12 lawsuits? Yes, what of it? They were all resolved. I'm just impressed. I mean, you gotta be some kind of gentleman to cause that much noise. I appreciate your sarcasm, not but I'm not allowed to discuss the details of my settlements. You might just pay them off to save publicity and they were all untrue anyway. Back to the alternative theory. So let's say, maybe this girl, Rachel, maybe she liked it a little rough. And you obliged. Consenting adults, right? Sure, completely consenting. And the cane could have been involved. 
could have been. I took a better cane. Tell me how the cane fits into this scenario. Was it an accident? I'm sure it must have been. Did she ask you to use it? Yes, she asked me to do it. It was her idea. She liked that kind of thing, I guess. Like I said, it was all consensual. This girl was kinky. She saw my cane. She wanted to try it. She was an adult. So you admit it? No. No. Uh, do you have evidence against him? Well, she said she had the right DNA kit, so I would have to go yes. Right, bruise mark on Rachel's neck, the cane he was carrying and the wider media. The sudden flight to London, the cane he was carrying and the hotel registry for the weekend. Wrong! You better wipe that smug smile off your face before you get to Rikers. Miss Benson, I'm innocent of this offensive charge. My lawyers will have this all thrown out and my country will protect me. Really? We can place you at the murder scene. We can connect you to the victim and her voicemails. And your cane is a match for the murder weapon. Now might be a good time to panic. Oh, That's a nice. hell of a lot of evidence Panicking. to throw out. That's why I have a hell of a lot of lawyers. Don't worry, I'll be out in a few days. Then maybe I'll call you, baby. Gosh, you are just not my type. Come on, Ray. Let's go get a bite. Mr. Baron can stew in his own ick for a while. Aha! Now we're not playing that, replaying that. Thank you very much.